I want to show you something amazing. Racer X is a fully interactive simulation built with NVIDIA Omniverse. Racer X is physically simulated. The lighting, reflections, and refractions are ray traced. Nothing is pre rendered and baked in. The parts and joints of the cars are individually modeled. Their physical properties affect driving dynamics. Things in the environment are not static props, but rigid body, cloth, and fluid simulations. Smoke, fire, and dust are volumetric simulations. Racer X is a simulation. Future games will not have pre-baked worlds. Future games will be simulations. Racer X is running on one single GPU. Let me tell you how we did it. We introduced the programmable shading GPU nearly a quarter of a century ago. GPUs revolutionized 3D graphics and created a medium with an infinite palette for artists. At SIGGRAPH 2018, we launched NVIDIA RTX, a new GPU architecture that extended programmable shaders with two new processors. RT cores accelerate real-time ray tracing. Tensor cores process matrix operations central to deep learning. RTX opened a new frontier for computer scientists, and a flood of new algorithms have appeared. A new era of RTX neural rendering has started. Today, we're announcing Ada Lovelace, our third generation RTX. One Ada GPU powers Racer X. This generation is named after mathematician Ada Lovelace, who is often regarded as the world's first computer programmer. NVIDIA engineers worked closely with TSMC to create the 4N process, optimized for GPUs. This process lets us integrate 76 billion transistors and over 18,000 CUDA cores. 70% more than the Ampere generation. Ada evolves all three RTX processors. First, a new streaming multiprocessor with 90 teraflops, 
over two times the previous generation. Ada's SM includes a major new technology called shader execution reordering, which reschedules work on the fly, giving a two to three times speed up for ray tracing. SCR is as big an innovation as out of order execution was for CPUs. Second, a new RT core with twice the ray triangle intersection throughput and two important new hardware units. A new opacity micromap engine speeds up ray tracing of alpha test geometry by a factor of two times. And a new micro mesh engine, which increases geometric richness without the BVH build and storage cost. And third, a new tensor core with the Hopper FP8 transformer engine and 1.4 petaflops of tensor processing. Raw ray tracing horsepower is not enough to ensure high frame rates. Ray tracing is notoriously hard to paralyze because rays bounce in every direction and intersect surfaces of various types. GPUs are highly parallel and most efficient when processing similar work at the same time. Ray tracing workloads lead to different threads processing different shaders or accessing memory that is hard to coalesce or cache. Shader execution reordering, SCR, improves execution efficiency by rescheduling shading workloads on the fly to better utilize the GPU resources. We're seeing up to two to three times increase in ray tracing and 25% in overall game performance. Like accelerated computing, computer graphics is a full stack challenge. Breakthroughs require innovation in architecture and design, as well as algorithms. For example, NVIDIA's RTX GI uses ray tracing to do real-time, multi-bounce, indirect lighting. RTX DI uses ray tracing to do direct illumination from millions of lights, casting shadows from all lights. RTX DI is used for emissive surfaces, such as billboards, TV screens, neon tubes. NVIDIA Real-Time Denoisers is a spatial temporal denoising technique that takes an incomplete ray-traced image and infers the ground truth, reducing the number of rays needed. And DLSS, Deep Learning Super Resolution, is one of our greatest achievements. Ray tracing requires insane amounts of computation. Each frame of a CGI movie takes hours to render. We want to do this in real time. NVIDIA RTX opened the world to real-time ray tracing. RT cores do BVH traversal and ray triangle intersection testing, which saves the SMs from spending thousands of instructions on each ray. But even with RT cores, frame rates were too low for games. We needed another breakthrough. Enter deep learning. DLSS uses a convolutional autoencoder AI model and takes the low resolution current frame and the high resolution previous frame to predict on a pixel by pixel basis, a high resolution current frame. The AI model is trained to predict an ultra high resolution 16K reference image. The difference between the predicted and reference image is used to train the neural network. The process is repeated tens of thousands of times until the network can predict a high quality image. Ada introduces DLSS 3, a new AI that generates entirely new frames rather than just pixels. DLSS 3 has four components, a new optical flow accelerator, game engine motion vectors, a convolutional autoencoder AI frame generator, and our reflex super low latency pipeline. DLSS 3 processes the new frame and the prior frame to discover how the scene is changing. The optical flow accelerator provides the neural network with the direction and velocity of pixels from frame to frame. Pairs of frames from the game, along with the geometry and pixel motion vectors, are then fed into a neural network that generates the intermediate frames. DLSS3 generates entirely new frames without processing the graphics pipeline boosting game performance by up to four times over brute force rendering. 
Because the LSS3 generates a new frame without involving the game, it benefits both GPU and CPU limited games. For CPU limited games, like physics heavy or large world games, the LSS3 allows the Ada GPU to render the game at a much higher frame rate than the CPU is able to compute the game. DLSS3 is one of our greatest neural rendering inventions. Here is Cyberpunk 2077, shown in all new max ray tracing mode with SCR and DLSS3. Pushing the state-of-the-art graphics into the future takes an incredible amount of computational horsepower. In a modern game like Cyberpunk, we run over 600 ray tracing calculations for every pixel just to determine the lighting. That's a 16 times increase from the time we first introduced real-time ray tracing four years ago. Yet the number of transistors we have available in a GPU to do these calculations have not increased at that rate. That's the power of RTX. We can deliver a 16 times increase in four years with artificial intelligence. Some pixels are calculated, most are predicted. Let's enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator, a game that is CPU limited because of the realistic physics and the giant worlds. It is one of the longest running franchises. This is Flight Sim's 40th anniversary. With Ada and DLSS3, Flight Simulator is silky smooth. I am thrilled to announce Portal RTX. NVIDIA Lightspeed Studios used Omniverse to remaster one of the most celebrated games in history. Portal was developed by Valve and released in 2007. It was GDC's Game of the Year and exhibited at the Smithsonian. Portal RTX is both nostalgic and futuristic at the same time. Let's take a look. This was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success We do what we must Because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. What are you doing? Stop it! Portal with RTX is a mod. We did it with Omniverse. Modding is a massive culture. Everyone is a creator. There are millions of modders, and billions of mods are downloaded each year. In fact, nine of the 10 most popular competitive games owe their existence to mods. We created an Omniverse application called RTX Remix for game modding. Start the game, and capture the game into USD, which is loaded into Omniverse. Here, we're using Elder Scrolls Morrowind from Bethesda, one of the top modded games of all time. Once in RTX Remix, the AI-assisted toolset has deep learning models to upres textures and assets, and an AI model to convert materials to have physically accurate properties. 
the rich Omniverse ecosystem of creative tools can then be used to enhance the game assets. When done, export the RTX mod pack and play the game with the RTX renderer. RTX Remix is incredible tech and the most advanced game modding tool ever created. Portal RTX and RTX Remix will be available shortly after ADA launch. RTX neural rendering algorithms run on programmable shaders, RT cores, and tensor cores to create amazing images. The total processing throughput of ADA is a massive leap over the Ampere generation and the performance shows. For rasterized games, ADA is up to two times faster, and it's four times faster for ray-traced games. ADA is incredibly energy efficient, over twice the performance of the same power compared to Ampere, and you can really push ADA. We've overclocked ADA past three gigahertz in our labs. RTX reinvented graphics. Now ADA is paving the way for future games to be fully simulated worlds like Racer X. Today, we're announcing our highly anticipated NVIDIA ADA Lovelace GPU, the GeForce RTX 4090. NVIDIA engineers push technologies on every front. New SM with shader execution reordering. New RT core with opacity micromap and micro mesh engines. New tensor core with FP8 transformer engine. And a pixel processing 300 tops optical flow accelerator for DLSS3. Overall, four times more processing throughput. Compared to the world's reigning GPU champion, the 3090 Ti, 4090 is two times faster on Microsoft Flight Simulator, three times faster on Portal RTX, and four times faster on RacerX. The GeForce RTX 4090, the new heavyweight champ, is $15.99. Available October 12th. The GeForce RTX 4080 comes in 16 gigabyte and 12 gigabyte versions. 4080 is three times the performance of 3080 Ti on RacerX. 4080 starts at $8.99. The best gaming platform in the world just got better. Our 30 series, starting at 329, are the best GPUs in the world serving mainstream gamers. RTX 4090 and RTX 4080 GPUs, starting at 899, delivered the ultimate performance to enthusiasts. The Ada Lovelace generation advances all three RTX processors, the engines of neural rendering. Ada is a quantum leap for gamers and paves the way for creators of fully simulated worlds like Omniverse.